karibu YouTube channel Big Math tujifunze mathematics. <laughs> Hi student, you are welcome back. In this video I'll show you the summarization of the topic of the earth as a sphere, but for here we are going to talk about the distance along the small cycle and the distance along the grid cycle. Let me remind you, if it is the first time for you to watch my video, please click subscribe button below this video. Okay, let us continue. First, you are supposed to understand how we can say this two points lie on the grid cycle and how we can say this two points lie on the small cycle. Okay, always the location is presented by using two points which is latitude and longitude. So for instance here you have the first location A which is presented by the certain latitude comma longitude. And also you have the another location B. This one is presented by taking latitude also comma longitude. So if it is found that the points have the same longitude then we say this point lie on the grid cycle. So here it means point lie on the grid cycle but in case that two points it lie on the same latitude let's say this latitude equals to this latitude then we say these two points lie on the small cycle so there's two conditions for grid cycle and for small cycle okay that's a able to angle how can you find the distance along the grid cycle and how can you find the distance along the small cycle? There is something what we call the substandard angle. Substandard angle, this one is presented by the this symbol, theta. So theta is used to present the substandard angle. But also this substandard angle can be calculated by taking either subtraction or by sum up the two points. This is happen if you have the same point the same direction we're supposed to subtract in order to get that theta and also if you have the different direction you're supposed to sum up in order to get this theta okay but also on top of that you're supposed to know that we have this symbol this one in the ether the sphere is used to present the angles found on the latitude so here is the angle of latitude but this theta is a substandard angle so here we have two items this one is the angle of latitude and this one stand for substandard angle this one can be obtained by either subtract or sum up but this one is given angle of latitude so it depends on the nature of your question okay let us check the first case here we need to determine the distance along the grid cycle. How can find the distance along the grid cycle? Okay, for the distance along the grid cycle here, we're supposed to consider that always the length of the total cycle with 360 degree can be calculated by taking the form of the circumference, which is 2 pi r. This means for 360 degree, its length is calculated by taking the formula. 2 pi but r because we are talking of the earth it means r is supposed to be radius of the earth capital letter r okay so you have to think how come if we have a certain substandard angle theta its length will be equals to it. by closing multiplication you will find that length will be equals to 2 pi r theta over 360 okay you can simplify this one 1 this one 1 8 that means length will be equals to pi r theta over 180. This one is a length in terms of kilometer. But also we can find length in terms of nautical mile. To find the length in terms of nautical mile, we're supposed to consider that 1 degree equals to 60 nautical mile. So you have to think, how come if you have the certain subtended angle theta, its length will be equals to what? Then cross multiplication, you will find length equals to theta times 60. This one is in term of a nautical mile. So the length along the grid cycle can be calculated by using this formula in term of nautical mile, or you can use this formula to find the length in term of a kilometer. Okay, let me shift. There is another issue here to find the distance along the small cycle. Here, the distance along the small cycle, you have to note that 
always the radius will be equals to r times cos of angle of latitude because we are talking about a small cycle okay then from there we know that length for the grid cycle can be calculated by taking pi r theta over 180 okay but how about this r this r now it is a radius of a small cycle so instead of using this r you can use this r so at the end of the day you will find length equals to pi r theta cos alpha over 180 when you plug the value of r which is equal to r cos alpha we will find the formula like this one but this one is a formula for finding the distance along the small cycle now in term of uh, kilometer so this one is length along the small cycle in term of kilometer but don't forget this one was a length between the two points which lie on the grid cycle so this one for grid cycle but this one for the small cycle so let me conclude here Length along the small cycle in term of kilometer is calculated by taking length equals to pi r theta cos alpha over 180. This one is a length along the small cycle in term of kilometer. But also, how can you find length along the small cycle in term of nautical mile? But for this one, length in term of nautical mile is supposed to refer from the previous formula for finding the length along the grid cycle in terms of not mile which says that equals to theta times 60. okay this one was the length in terms of nautical mile for the grid cycle how about the small cycle for the small cycle length will be equals to theta times 60 cos alpha where this alpha is the angle of latitude and this one is a substandard angle so this will be the formula for finding the length along the small cycle in term of uh, nautical mile so let me conclude here the length in term of nautical mile along the small cycle can be calculated by taking theta times 60 cos alpha this one is a length along the small cycle uh, along the small cycle in term of uh, nautical mile Okay, don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel by clicking subscribe button below this video in order to get more tutorial videos concerned with mathematics. Thank you.